Check out how shiny this one is. I need my sunglasses on to talk about this one. She's got a bit of a glare going on. Outback Queensland rig, this one. HJ 47, fifth month, 82, and it's lived its whole life in Western Queensland. It was owned by a Toyota dealership and they used it as a run around. New owner, found it on the side of the road with a full sale sign, not so shiny, and he's bought it. He's owned a few cruisers. They've come and gone, but he's keeping this one. He's torn it down, resprayed it. He's done all the work himself, all new weather strips, uh, things like badges, and just a whole heap of new stuff's gone into this one. And what an awesome job. Fifth month 82, so it's, um, it's got the taco, it's got the center dash, but it's still on drum brakes. It was a turn turning point in 82. Um, it's in here, it's for electrical stuff this time. So we've uh, had it in a few times for a few parts, but uh, Richard's got his hands on it today and he's put the upgraded, a blade fuse box. He's just little things, the clock wasn't working, the radio wasn't working, the ciggy socket wasn't working and she wasn't shutting off properly. So fuel control relay, he's pulled that apart and resoldered some circuits there and it's uh, turnkey, everything schmicko now. There's nothing left else to do to a car like this. It's got the Red Arc dual battery system, so the dual battery's out of the way here. I've really got to update mine. I'm jealous of this. I'm gonna to switch to Red Arc. I've had so much trouble. I can't wait to get the same setup in my own vehicle, actually. And externally, it's just an honest old truck. The steel tray's been there the whole time. It's still got the steel roof. Everything about it is just cool old Land Cruiser. Let's have a closer look inside. There's a little bit going on in here. Very original, we'll have a look. So she's just an honest old truck. It's uh, nothing too fancy in here. It's the way, it's virtually the way they come out. They have put a, uh, a console up here. You've got the UHF, the stereo, some speakers. It's just utilizing some space. Love the older Cobra hat rack up the top there. Otherwise, she's pretty standard. The seats have been retrimmed. New door cards, just kept in really nice order. And, um, They've got new floor mats on top to, uh, to save the old ones. You just just stuff that's hard to find now. So there's not a great deal. It just speaks for itself inside here. I really want to um, take this one for a burl myself before the customer gets here. She is sweet. Under the hood. So there's even a little bit of show and tell under here. It is just, I shouldn't say just the 2H. It's the 2H. Nothing um, fancy is going on, but I think that's what makes it a really beautiful rig. They've got the um, the insulation that's been there since day dot. Not all 40s come with this. So it's cool that it's still in there in that condition. It just shows how well the car was kept. The new owner, you can tell he's got it really maintained. All his hoses are new and he's uh, painted the rocker cover and put some paint in there. We've sold him some decals. He's uh, consolidated wires in there. It's just well kept. You've got to be really stoked when you're driving, this is a head turner, this one. I'm sure he gets lots of waves, as we do in our 40s. If only mine was this clean. The advantage of me having this job is there's not too many cars that come in here that I don't get to go for a little drive. So check it out. I'm about to go for a little test drive in this one and see how she performs. 